And good morning again. Welcome back to Focus. I'm Rick Fulbaum. The Islamic School of Miami was incorporated in 1995. The nonprofit organization's mission is to meet the needs of South Florida's Muslim community and to bridge the gap between Muslims and non-Muslims. Joining me here today is the chairman of the board of directors for the Islamic School of Miami. Please welcome Naveed Anjum. We're so glad you're here. Thanks very much for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you. Talk to us about the Islamic School of Miami. We mentioned a little bit about the mission. How do you see the mission? Well, so far, uh, as we talked about the mission before, but uh, you know, our mission is. Uh, mission and goal is to please Allah, to follow the Islamic uh, teaching of Quran, and to follow the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. But that is not the only thing. Actually, uh, we had that plan and mission to, uh, to come up with an organization which not only teach our, st uh, our students in our community, South Florida and Muslim community, uh, to learn the Islamic values, but also to learn the secular education along with uh, bridging the gaps between different faiths, which we've been doing. And thank God so far we are very successful with uh, having our relations with the interfaith groups, uh, civic leaderships, the neighborhoods. And, uh, and, and, and I see uh, uh, whatever our mission was, it's, it's, it's going so far pretty well. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Tell us about the Muslim community here in South Florida. How large a group are you? And, um, and how sort of involved are, are you in the community as a whole? Well, uh, there are no exact numbers there because the census does not reflect the religion. But we believe that we are, in Tri-County, we are about 200,000 Muslim community. Uh, and uh, uh, for that, obviously, we needed uh, uh, religious places, the worship places. And we had some, but especially in the Southwest Miami. Uh, as you mentioned before, we inc incorporated that Islamic School of Miami in 1995 mm. because of the fact that we wanted to send that message to our neighbors and our fellow Americans that what Muslims are all about is not what they actually hear, but uh, you know what kind of uh, community services we do, what kind of uh, actually humanitarian work we do, and what is Islam is all about. The message we just wanted to send that this is, a, this is a, the religion of peace, this is the religion of friendship, and this is the religion of uh, considering everyone one. It's just not like, uh, you know, uh, people feel that uh, we are not including we want to we want to we, we be an inclusive community you want to include everybody exactly let me ask you because we mentioned a moment ago that this is a difficult and a, a changing time and of course I don't need to tell you about recent events uh, in Brussels in Paris in other places where terrorists have used the name of your religion uh, as some sort of justification for their terrorists, their heinous acts. Now, I know uh, from speaking to you that that is not, this is not, they're not following the teachings uh, of Allah, they're not following the Quran. But why don't you take a moment, I'm, I'm, I guess it must make your job very, more challenging, more difficult to spread that message that Islam is a, is a religion of peace when you have these people who are using your religion in very non-peaceful ways. Well, basically, Rick, it saddens me when uh, these kind of crimes happen and people actually uh, consider these, cr these crimes that are, are, are whoever are considering whoever are the perpetrators have something to do with Islam. Yeah. Obviously, they have nothing to do with Islam. If, if they would have believed in that, they wouldn't be doing that, what they've been doing. Uh, Islam's, the message of Islam is very clear. Aggression is not acceptable. Cruelty is not acceptable. Unfairness is not acceptable. That is not what they're doing is, has anything to do with Islam. Now, having said that, the message has to be sent very clearly. Muslim community and Muslim faith does not condone that and, 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 and definitely is against that. We have raised our voices multiple times. Basically, the Muslim faith is the biggest victim of that. Uh, if you really uh, get the statistics, 90% of the targets are in fact Muslims by these uh, cruel aggressors. That's right, but of course it's the stories in San Bernardino and those other stories in Europe that I mentioned that seem to, seem to make a lot of headlines. It must drive you nuts that these terrorists are out there and they're sort of using your religion as sort of a shield, as a justification for what they're doing. Basically, Rick, we all have to believe in one thing. These acts, whoever commit these acts, have nothing to do with a specific group. 
you will find these perpetrators in every single religion, every single community. Look at the statistics of United States. I mean, the, the criminals in the United States, the population of the United States is 5% of the world, but 25% of the prisoners in the world are in the United States. That does not make the United States a criminal, because the fellow Americans are beautiful people. This is what we have experienced. Now, these criminal perpetrators are less than 1% of the Muslim, popular, uh, Muslim population in the world. Right. So considering them a part of Islam is itself negate uh, the whole uh, consideration. Well, I'm glad to give you the chance to come in and talk about that. Tell us something about your faith for those of us who might not know a lot about it uh, that, that might surprise us. Basically, uh, I was talking to uh, some of the pastors and, yeah. and rabbis, and we, we do that on a regular basis. We don't have much difference. The similarities and commonalities are almost 95%. Now, whatever the little differences uh, could be a practice of our religion, but basically, we all love humanity. This is what we do. Islam has a very peaceful teaching. Uh, uh, if we follow the teaching of Islam, it would definitely will make you a healthy contributor to the society. Our religion basically teaches us to be a more, uh, more of a friend to the other faith instead, uh, you know, what you really hear that, uh, you know, the, the Muslims are different or Mus in, in, in many different factors, that's not true. We are as same as the other faiths in this, in this country, in this, uh, in this society. Uh, we have the children who wants to do the same beautiful thing what your children wants. I have two beautiful children. Uh, they go to the same uh, society, same school system. They are growing up exactly the same. I may know other countries, but my children or the children of uh, the Muslim community in this country, they do not know anything they else know but the United US, States. And they know South Florida, and we're glad that you're a part of it. Naveed Anjum is the chairman of the board of directors of the Islamic School of Miami. Naveed, so nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you very you so much, much for joining us this morning. I appreciate that. Thank you. And when we come back, helping members of South Florida's Jewish community connect with all aspects of Jewish life in a hectic and fast-paced 21st century, what one local nonprofit is doing, you'll meet its new executive director when we come right back.